Greetings for everyone. We are going to discuss subcutaneous emphysema in this video. I want to mention that I have nothing to disclose and this video is made only for educational purpose. If you feel that you have some symptoms related to subcutaneous emphysema, you have to address to the hospital or brought to the hospital and get a consultation of the doctor. What means subcutaneous emphysema? It's a de novo generation or infiltration of the air in the subcutaneous layers uh, or layer of the skin. As you know, skin have epidermis and dermis and it goes uh, under these uh, layers and even deep. Air can expand and can involve subcutaneous and deep tissues and extravasate in other body cavities and spaces to cause uh, uh, so-called uh, pneumo uh, mediastinum, pneumo peritoneum, retroperitoneum, and pneumo uh, thorax. So normally air do not have to be there out of lungs and if it is situated in different uh, cavities or uh, spaces or organs it will uh, will create problems. The air, as you know, travel uh, from these areas along pressure gradient. For example, if uh, in lungs pressure is high, it will go in areas under the skin or uh, subcutaneous areas and going uh, throughout the area and find the area with less, uh, uh, less pressure. It could be uh, uh, going uh, like from intra-alveolar to perivascular interstitium to the neck to the head, chest, abdomen uh, by connecting facial and anatomical planes. Air will preferentially accumulate in the subcutaneous areas with the least amount of tension and until a pressure uh, become the same as from area which comes and it will try to redirect or find another uh, area with least amount of tension. Uh, by etiology it could be surgical, traumatic, infectious or spontaneous or iatrogenic and injury of the thoracic cavity, sinus uh, cavities, facial bones, bar trauma, ball perforation or pulmonary blebs uh, which are uh, er eruption or destruction of the uh, alveoli and can uh, produce subcutaneous emphysema. Iatrogenic uh, due to malfunction or disruption of the ventilator circuit inappropriate uh, closure of the pop-off uh, pop uh, valve. Also known as salva maneuver when you closing your upper airways and trying to produce uh, positive pressure and increasing intrathoracic uh, pressure and trauma of the airway or airways of course a small mucosal injury in the trachea or pharynx during traumatic intubation overinflation of the endotracheal tube cuffs or increased uh, airway pressure against a closed uh, glottis as you know uh, intubation uh, process is uh, with a lot of risk of damaging mucosa or trachea by making perforation in space between uh, uh, tracheal rings. During tracheostomy via as the cervical soft tissue air can enter the subcutaneous uh, tissues as there is a cough and it uh, sometimes uh, can be a poorly inflated or something like that via bowl or esophageal perforation without pulmonary injury. As you know, the most uh, frequent cause of uh, subcutaneous emphysema is of pulmonary origin and it goes uh, around the uh, thoracic cage. In the course of central venous access procedures or percutaneous or transbronchial uh, lung biopsy. Regarding central venous access uh, procedures of installing central venous catheter is by also producing a pneumothorax by perforating a pleura as a mechanism and laparoscopic procedures by inflating a, 
a cavity is abdominal or any other cavity with um, uh, dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide. The incidence of subcutaneous emphysema is anywhere from 0.43 to 2.34 percentage. It's high and mean age of patients was 53 plus minus as you see and around 70% of patients being male. 77% uh, of patients who undergo laparoscopic procedures develop subcutaneous emphysema. A small one or uh, a, a big uh, or a huge emphysema and also not always clinically detectable as I said that they are small and uh, un, uh, do not produce some uncomfortable feelings or something like that and even cannot be uh, detected. Apneum omenostinum has incidence of 1 in 20,000 in children during a somatic attack. Women in the second stage of labor may also experience uh, subcutaneous emphysema from pushing, uh, pushing uh, which can increase intrathoracic pressure, uh, pressure to 50 uh, centimeters of water or greater, uh, with incidence of 1 per 2,000, a lot. And pulmonary barrier trauma in uh, mechanical ventilation that range from uh, 3 to 10 percent. Many aspects of pathophysiology, like injury of the parietal pleura that allows the passage of uh, air into the pleural and subcutaneous tissues. Air from the alveolus uh, spreading into the endovascular sheath and lung heal into the endothoracic uh, fascia. The air in the mediastinum spreading uh, into the cervical viscera and other uh, connected tissue plants air originating from external uh, sources and gas generation locally, mostly by infection in necrotizing uh, infections. Most common finding uh, association with subcutaneous uh, emphysema is crepitus on palpation, on, on skin palpation. Distension and or bloating may be present on the abdomen, chest, neck and face and uh, palpebral uh, closure resulting in visual distortion and phonation changes from vocal cord compression also uh, may be found as um, a symptom. Uh, by palpating the affected area, a crackling sound and sensation, uh, which is called crepitus, are elicited. It can be also appreciated by placing a stethoscope on the skin area where you uh, f uh, find, uh, f found some uh, inflation or distortion of uh, relief of skin and thus it emitting a high frequency acoustic uh, sound. In patients with extensive subcutaneous emphysema, hemodynamic and respiratory compromise may occur, which is why it is imperative to investigate the cause in each patient. So do not allow it to pass by uh, self. You have to investigate patient and detect the source of emphysema. Also is known in some studies that patients who use inhalational corticosteroids may uh, be at increased uh, risk for tracheal injury. Of course, during uh, into, uh, tracheal intubation, um, as mucosa is friable and seen. And as I mentioned, any maneuver with a tube, uh, as, uh, as usual, by insertion of tube in the endotrachea or in trachea, uh, could be accompanied with a tear or lesion of the mucosa and even of uh, perforation. You see a great image of uh, emphysema, and normally uh, lungs are here, as you see, but. Uh, the black co color is uh, uh, signify air, and you see uh, right behind here uh, also air of black color, as you see also here up up around the thorax. The thorax. How you do a diagnosis of the subcutaneous emphysema? You do a two most frequent. Uh, 
uh, scans like uh, X-ray and CT scan of the chest, usually, or other areas that are involved. On X-ray, there are intermittent areas of radiolucency, often representing a fluffy appearance of the exterior borders on the exter uh, exterior borders of the thoracic and abdominal walls. As you see out of, here is a thorac, thoracic cage, and you see out of uh, thorax air. On chest X-ray, a uh, jinko leaf sign may be present showing uh, striations of gas along the pectoralis may major. On CT scan of the chest will show dark uh, pockets, uh, uh, pockets sorry, in uh, the subcutaneous layers, uh, indicative of gas. A CT scan is uh, more sensitive and is sensitive enough to identify the source of injury causing uh, subcutaneous emphysema that may be uh, otherwise not be visible on anterior posterior or lateral uh, aspects of the uh, x-ray if there is suspicion of airway injury as a result of intubation or an, any other uh, manipulations you have to uh, apply bronchoscopy which can identify the location of tracheal injury also, air acts as a sound barrier when using ultrasonography. Ultrasound is good and uh, it may demonstrate a hyperechoic scatter densities. What is the treatment for subcutaneous emphysema? And you have to know that uh, treating the underlying cause of uh, or precipitating factor should be considered first. Uh, because it's, uh, it usually leads to gradual resolution. For mild cases without significant discomfort and even undetectable observation is appropriate. A uh, resolution of subcutaneous emphysema will likely resolve in less than 10 days if a source is controlled. For example, if there is detected uh, subcutaneous emphysema from pneumothorax and you are installing some drainage and it is controlled, it will um, solve in. Uh, will be solved in 10 days or less. In patients with continued discomfort or Z require expedited resolution, high concentration of oxygen, which allows for a nitrogen washout and diffusion of gas particles in a patient with concomitant pneumothorax and or pneumomedastinum. During endotracheal intubation, trauma can occur on the posterior trachea causing linear laceration of the because you have to know this and try to avoid any uh, manipulations with risk or aggressive manipulation on the posterior side of the trachea. A tracheostomy may be required by, uh, to bypass the tear in uh, mucosa tears, but tracheostomy installation is also uh, invasive and traumatic, as you have to know. If a mu mucosal tear is detected or uh, is at risk, you have to uh, administer empiric broad uh, spectrum antibiotics that uh, uh, may be of uh, benefit to prevent the de development of mediastinitis. For mechanically ventilated patients, uh, set the following parameters like reducing tidal volume, reducing positive and expiratory uh, pressure, or uh, set it. Uh, the zero point. Minimizing bronchospasm and air trapping uh, can help the progression and promote reabsorption. In patients with extensive subcutaneous emphysema, uh, there are reports that two centimeter intraclavicular incisions bilaterally can reduce further uh, subcutaneous infection, uh, expansion. Sorry. Of course, uh, es establishing uh, some drainage uh, not only incision by installing drainage is a treatment of choice for pneumothoraxes. A differential diagnosis you have to do with allergic reactions which have angioedema and may present with difficulty of uh, bracing facial edema. But you have to know that uh, sparing uh, of lips is a clue to make a differential diagnosis from allergic reactions to uh, subcutaneous emphysema. So non-extensive subcutaneous 
emphysema should be investigated and to exclude esophageal rupture of pneumothorax, tracheal bowel diaphragm, or any cavity organ uh, uh, perforation and necrotizing infections. What is the prognosis of subcutaneous emphysema? The majority of uh, patients with this diagnosis is non-fatal and self-limited. But massive subcutaneous emphysema can cause compartment syndrome and prevention of thoracic wall expansion, tracheal compression and tissue necrosis. And if do not intervene, it can occur uh, uh, respiratory and cardiovascular compromise or uh, malfunction. Uh, as you know, compartment syndrome is characteristic of increased uh, pressure in interstitial pressure from uh, some causes like vascular or compressive. But here, uh, oxygen also, uh, uh, not oxygen, but air that is entrapped uh, also produce increased pressure and uh, make a poor uh, supply with blood and drainage of the area around and even produce this compartment syndrome with possible necrosis. Also complications like uh, tense and extensive air expansion uh, can prevent the thoracic cavity from expanding or reaching appropriate uh, tidal volumes. Of course, this will lead to desaturation, respiratory compromise, and dreadful cardiac arrest. Extension in different areas produce different symptoms, like into the neck can cause dysphagia and compression or closure of the airway. And patient, if is on ventilatory support, may lead to high peak pressures and precipitate bar trauma and expanding pneumothorax. And you have to act immediately and decompress uh, pulmon, for example, if you see a high uh, pressure on the uh, ventilatory machine or anesthesia machine. Uh, if subcutaneous uh, emphysema obstructs the thoracic outlet, it can uh, prevent adequate airflow or reduce cardiac uh, preload. And of course, poor uh, cerebral perfusion because uh, in thorax is, uh, uh, are placed a force vessel, grid vessel and heart. And if uh, this function is compromised, the drainage and the perfusion of the uh, brain also will suffer. Expansion into the genitals can disrupt the delicate vasculature supplying these areas, uh, causing skin necrosis. And for patients with pacemakers, it may cause dysfunction in uh, the devices due to air uh, trapping within the pulse generator. And which consultation we have to uh, to take for patient like thoracic surgeon, ger uh, general surgeon? or bronchoscopy to detect the area of a tracheal lesion. Thank you for your attention. If you want to read by yourself uh, this article, you can access NCBI and uh, typing uh, subcutaneous emphysema and read by yourself. If, if you like this video, you can uh, make a subscribe and of course, turning on the notification. Thank you very much and have a great time, guys.